Well, first of all, this resolution recovery process via software exists for both planar imaging and for 3D imaging. So it's available for both applications of single photon nuclear medicine imaging. In terms of applications, it's sort of just been touched uh, in terms of where it works, how well it works, and what kind of parameters one should use for setting up your acquisition and your processing. For example, the if you, you can get down to, as I mentioned in the talk, you can get to a point where the administered activity is really too small to get benefit from resolution recovery, but most people are above that level right now. Uh, there's probably a bottom for every kind of scan to which you can go, but the trick is to find out where that bottom is and then you know probably pick a level which is reliable somewhat above that lowest administered activity level and then publicize parameters, those parameters which work to give reliable but low dose imaging with resolution recovery. And it's going to take some time. I think over the, it's something for people to look for in the literature over the next two to three years.